Don't worry about the Knicks, cause it's your boy Chris with the Knicks. Alright, so you know I gotta do a video on the whole Remy Ma Sheather diss to towards Nicki Minaj. Alright, so this is probably the fastest video I ever done on on a certain you know topic. I usually wait to get facts, and I usually wait wait because I'm not the type of person like oh well, I'm the first one to put out a video. But, um, shit. I seen it all on my um, timeline. Remy Ma killed it. Remy Ma did this. Remy Ma did that. And so then, then I had to go, I first read the lyrics. Then I had to go listen to the beat, the song myself. I'm like, damn. And technically, she did kill it. She did go in. You know, I think she is bringing real hip hop back. That's what real rap sounds like. No, that mumbling cartoon crap, uh, mumbling rap, cartoon crap, all of that, you know. Yeah, I do respect Nikki and her craft, but I'm just saying, you know, that can get played out in time real quick. And, you know, if you make the real thing, eventually that cheap gimmick will eventually, you know, it won't work anymore. And so then, so then Remy, alright, so when Remy all got out of the jail, when she was in jail, she did say she was going to get Nikki for that. You know, you can tell the, the chick with the crown to run it like Chris Brown. She said she was, um, she said she was going to get her for that. But shit, I didn't think she was going to get her this good. You know, and I think it's just Nikki's karma because she was too cocky when she came out. She was she didn't really humble herself, you know. Yeah, she was getting all these endorsement deals and perfumes and all that. But she didn't humble herself. And, you know, Drake was like, oh, you know, when she and Lil' Kim was going at it, he was talking about, it's about who's relevant now. Okay, well, Nikki's relevancy is kind of declining because um, Walmart is throwing their clothes out, you know. And I think that's a low blow. You know, now they're trying to get publicity, you know, throwing their clothes out. After this Remy Ma sheather this. Um, I... <laughs> I feel that, and them clothes are cheap anyways, um, cheap is not always bad, but I'm just saying, I think that, first of all, Nikki probably ain't going to come back, I don't know what she can come back after that, this is the same, if, this is the same thing when Queen Latifah dissed Foxy Brown in, um, 98, 97, uh, with the, uh, name calling diss, number two, name calling number two, uh, Queen Latifah had stopped rapping for a while and she started doing her TV show and stuff. And Foxy Brown just kept, you know, antagonizing her. And finally, Queen Latifah just, you know, finally she just came out with the, the second disc to um, name calling number two. Because um, she kept antagonizing her. She came out with name calling one, but I guess that wasn't fire enough for, for um, Foxy Brown to stop. So then she came out with name calling two. Man, when I tell you Queen Latifah ripped her a new one, she ripped her a new one. You know, Foxy, and everybody said that Queen Latifah won that. Because um, Foxy Brown came out with a, a disc too after that. And people, you know, nobody really listened to it. They like, you know, no, Queen Latifah got this one. She was like, I'm not your sister. Today I'm not your sister, your queen, your role model. Today I'm not a bitch that'll serve you a new one. Like she was, <laughs> she was going in. For Queen Latifah to say, I'm that bitch after she, you know, said, made out a rap, a unity, U N I T Y, uh, saying who you calling a bitch? You know, she must have been business. And like Foxy Brown, I didn't try that no more. So this is <laughs> this is the same a thing as this one. I don't think Nikki can recover from that. I don't think Nikki can um, release anything that, that could like possibly shit on um, Remy Ma because Remy Ma was coming with facts. You know, she said, well, "How are you gonna, you know, pay for a pedophile's wedding?" Which is true, you know, because I, I don't support pedophilia. I don't care if you're my family or good friends. If you touching kids or taking their innocence, you gonna get what's coming to you, and I'm not in that. I don't care if we say, share the same blood. And Nikki should have took the same approach. You know. And then she, and she said, only kids that believed in you. The only people that believed in you was the kids. You Saint Nick. Which meaning you fake. Which is true. 
You know, she pretended to be like a Barbie doll or whatever. You know, she wasn't like Kim, how, because Kim, you know, her music was adults, but, you know, she did movies and stuff that kids could watch. So Kim was in that, like, she was an adult, but, you know, she was in that in-between space where she was still good. But Nikki was just like, no, my music is for, like, the kids, but it's not really for the kids. It's for the kids, but it has adult things. Like, no, Kim Strail said my music is for adults. But if you do hear it, you know, you need to wear a condom and all that. So Kim could let the air quickly on that. But Nikki, she was just, you know, trying to appeal to kids, but she was, like, adult. Like, it was, she wasn't in that middle ground. Or she didn't clarify, like, you know, this is for adults. Like, she did tell the Sophia girl that, you know, you know, I'm going to give you the clean copy of my album. But I don't know. Nikki just um, was too cocky. She didn't really cover her tracks. Uh, and they was like, Lil' Kim already killed her on um, Black Friday, which she did. But um, Remy just basically slaughtered her, you know. And now that I think Nikki's fame is cooling down, you know. <clears throat> because she got so cocky, I think that she needs to, like, you know, take, you know, take a step back, and, you know, just humble herself. Because after, um, she also did something else. How did I call it? Hmm. She did a diss. Well, she was dissing Kim for the longest time. And they had Kim believing, like, thinking Kim was delusional. No, Kim was always telling the truth. We already knew that. Is this y'all cut on? Oh, what I want to say is, uh, Mo watch Mojo. Do watch Mojo.com. It came out with a list called 10 Reasons Why Nicki Minaj is Most Hated. And those are all facts. So even Mojo, uh, Watch Mojo uh, slaughtered her <laughs> for a bit. And it was nothing but facts, you know. So I think she should humble herself. It's not, like Missy Elliott, Missy Elliott said, you know, it's not how quick you build your house, it's how long it can last. And I think that's the truth, you know. And I think she was talking about uh, Nicki Minaj, how she would be dissing people, as well as other artists, you know. She said she didn't, when James Brown came out, you know, didn't nobody call him irrelevant because Michael Jackson was out? Or did nobody go up to Tina Turner and be like, well, you don't mean nothing no more because now we got uh, Beyonce. You know, you still get the respect. You know, you was in ten game 10 years strong. You were already a legend. Even if you never release another album or anything in music, you know, you're still a legend. Your work speaks for itself. Now, that's just my general topic. But as for the whole Remy Ma situation, you know, I just feel like Nikki should have stopped with that subliminal diss stuff. Because Kim already, Kim already gave her a warning. She even got a track called Warning. After Nikki came up with Stupid Hoes, you know, she came up with Warning. You know. But um, now, you know, now Remy Ma is basically the red light. She's uh, <laughs> the, you know, your state. If if your career was a state, it's under attack. <laughs> and she's a soldier, you know, it's under attack. So you better think of something real quick, Nikki. You know, so that's just my take on it. You know, she talked about the fake ass thing. Because in Nikki's um, no love thing, she just come out saying, you know, yeah, like I didn't make all these bitches want a fat ass. Yeah, you did. No lie, you did. But, yeah, some of these girls did get killed and did die over, um having a butts injected like the one of the girls that worked for BET she got her butt injected her butt was already big and she got injected and she, I think she, that was the one that went with her mother and her she said her mother was just watching but I think her mother was gonna get um the same the same um procedures too and then she was on the um, operation table and you know they injected her with god knows what and these back alley doctors she got injected, injected, and within five minutes she wasn't moving no more. And uh, basically, the person that injected her, um, the mother told her, you know, hey, call the police, call it, um, no, call the ambulance. You know, she ain't breathing no more. And um, basically, the person that injected her was like, bitch, I ain't about that life. Took the money and ran. You know, now that girl's in her grave all because of vanity. She wanted a bigger butt when she already had one. You know, if you see pictures of her, she already had one. Then there was another woman who got like five procedures of that, of getting injected with cotton balls and what, God knows what. 
And um, her daughter actually said, you know, her the mother said, you know, I'm going to go out, I'm going to be right back, you know. When she say that, she's usually going back, you know, to get her butt checked. But then the daughter was like, you know, she said it this time, but she never came back. So, you know, and I think that was um, good for Remy Ma to kind of like bring that to, you know, the light because a lot of people do get glamified about a lot of stuff. I'm not saying Nikki had to be a role model or had to put a PSA out about big butts or whatever, but again, you should have that in the back of your mind that people do do these things just like with contact lenses, you know, if you get the wrong ones, not prescription, you know, you don't know what could be in it, you don't know how old it is, it can mess up your eyes and you can't get those back. And, or weaves or anything, you know, you have to be precautious with these procedures. So I think that was, a, she was hitting with facts and that's why people can't really, like I said, what's in the dark comes to light and Kim even said that and I feel like whatever, you know, you always have to humble yourself and cheap tricks and cheap gimmicks don't work unless you can bag that up with talent because truth is always going to be the truth no matter how, to, how mad you, you don't like it because people that have to style on with truth and that's why they don't like me to this day and I don't care because you got to style on people with truth. So anyways, any comments, questions, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Anything, your thoughts, what do you think about it? Let me know. Leave it in the comment section below. You know, to make my stuff go viral. Make me, I'll, I'll tell the truth, make me go viral. Make me just start. Alright, till then, this has been your boy Chris with the next. Peace.